member from Ottawa Centre. Mr. Speaker, my question through you is to the Minister of Children and Youth Services. Minister, as you and many members know, November is Adoption Awareness Month. It is a welcome opportunity to recognize families who have adopted children and given them permanent, loving families. It is also a time to think of the children who are in need of permanent, loving families and the families that are ready and willing to welcome those children. Minister, we know children's age societies across the province currently have children in care who are looking for loving and stable permanent homes. Can you please explain what our government is doing to support these children as they look for families in our communities? Mr. Thank you very much and I want to thank the uh, member for Ottawa Centre for his advocacy on behalf of families in his community because that's exactly what this is about. This is about outcomes, uh, best outcomes for kids and helping kids find families. Uh, and it's a privilege in my role to have been able to uh, sit down with many of our youth in care who talk about uh, their dream and aspiration of finding a forever family. And I'm very pleased to share with the House much of the work that's being done in the sector to find permanency options for kids. Uh, in the last year, uh, under our government, the number of adoptions has increased by 62%, Speaker. Wow, that's very Completed good. adoptions through Children's Aid Society has increased last year by 21%. Wow. And I recently had the chance to attend the Adoption Resource Exchange, and it's where CASs from around the province come together uh, to uh, demonstrate and show the kids that would be available, to encourage families to think perhaps yeah. beyond the family. Great. Thank you, Speaker. It's heartening to hear improvements in adoption numbers, and the Children Aid Societies are working together to find home for kids. The Minister mentioned improvements to the child welfare system through the work of the Commission to promote sustainable child welfare. Members have been hearing that some children aid societies are facing financial challenges, while many children aid societies have balanced budgets and are taking innovative steps to make sure money is best spent on supporting children and families. I know that the Ottawa Children Aid Society speaker has a balanced budget, and I'm very pleased to have a productive and positive relationship with them. Speaker, could the minister share with the House some of the innovative practices taking place at the Ottawa Children's Aid Society that her ministry has observed? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And the Ottawa CAS is doing great work. They are developing innovative solutions to find approaches to spend less time on paperwork and more time on kids, to find families, to reach out, to recruit families who might like to adopt kids. Innovation is all about finding a pathway to sustainability. Uh, we're looking at a range of permanency options, legal custody, customary care, supporting families to keep uh, to be able to uh, look after their own children. Uh, there are so many pathways to find uh, permanent families and permanent homes for kids. Uh, the Commission to Promote Sustainable Child Welfare is doing much of this work, Speaker. We look forward to working with CASs like the Ottawa CAS to learn from their best practices, continue to do this important work to find families for Ontario's kids and give them the very, very, very best outcomes that they can have. It's all of our collective aspirations, Speaker, and it's good work being done good in work. Ottawa. Very question, member from the